Should Pikmin have ended with just one game? Over two decades ago, Shigeru Miyamoto and his team had an idea. With a mind to both test the GameCube's ability to handle an increased number of unique animated assets on screen as well as play God, they conceived an idea originally centered around two creatures. Now by 2001, this idea ultimately molded itself into the game that we know and love today as Pikmin. The first of four games, Pikmin is a real-time strategy game with puzzle and adventure elements baked in that still retained plenty of Miyamoto's original thoughts. In fact, some of the game's environments are noted to be modeled after his own backyard. Strange place. Anyway, the player takes control of Olimar, an overworked Hokitation who ditched his family for a solitary sabbatical. The poor soul ends up marooned on a foreign planet with a barely functional ship and a ticking clock counting down the moments before his life support systems fail. Soon after the USS Dolphin's crash landing, however, Olimar lucks into a meeting with the local brand of carrots, Pikmin. He's able to provide the leadership that these souls always needed to do things like hunt, procreate, and of course, fix spaceships. Don't worry though, they get compensated fairly. Throughout their adventures, Olimar and his diverse band of devotees tackle many of the uncharted planet's regions. They conquer the Earth, the waters, and the air, eliminating competing fauna and swelling their populations simultaneously. This, of course, raises questions about the Pikmin's role in the planet's ecosystem both before and after Olimar's intervention, but that's largely of no consequence now. There's been a new apex predator unleashed upon the world, and they're not picky about what they consume. In the end, Olimar and the adorable little Pikmin proved to be greatly productive, killing almost every living thing that they come across and accumulating the requisite ship parts to send Olimar back home. And then that's it. The story wraps itself up nicely with a neat little bow tied on top. Olimar back where he belongs, and the Pikmin establishing themselves as a budding civilization. And it's with this bow tied on top that we can then pose this question. Should Pikmin have ended with just one game? No! God no! Pikmin is such a unique game with a novel concept and personality that cannot be denied. Playing for the first time, the entire thing was both beautiful and terrifying at the same time. With multiple different endings, replaying it holds value as well. And to that point, I actually beat Pikmin for the very first time in 2001. We're freaking old. That was over 20 years ago. Well, I replayed it again as recently as this year as part of a co-op series with my wife for her first playthrough on this exact channel, in fact. And it's still a great time. However, as the series has gone on, it has only gotten better, especially for co-op. And with Pikmin 4 on the horizon, I say with great confidence that Pikmin should not have stopped at one game. And while they did pause at three games for a little bit longer than I would have liked, there's a fourth one coming out, and that's all that we can hope for. I'm LP. I play Nintendo games, and I talk a lot. And if you're into that, like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>